Ever wondered how to create a realistic poisonous cloud animation over a real map in After Effects? In this video, I'm breaking down exactly how to animate the Chernobyl and Fukushima disasters using geo layers. Create a new project. Set the duration to 10 seconds. Choose the satellite map style and click Create. Now we're going to make the map look like nighttime. First, go to Effects and type Lumetri Color. Add it to the world map composition. Set the exposure to minus one. And under Creative, change the look to Monochrome Kodak. Now add another Lumetri Color effect and change the temperature to negative 100. You can remove the attribution from the bottom left corner. Now in the search bar, type Chernobyl. Go to Label Features and click Add Label. Select the pen tool and draw a basic polygon shape. Under Mode, change it to Multiply and set the opacity to 60%. Now click the stopwatch icon on the left of the path to create the first animation keyframe of the poisonous cloud. Once you're done, move forward and create the final animation keyframe of the cloud. Add the deep glow effect to the layer. Change the radius to 2000 and the exposure to 4. Add noise and set the amount to 20. Add Turbulent Displace. Set the amount to 30, size to 50, and complexity to 10. Now you can adjust the shape of the animation again. Set the opacity to zero at one second and 60 at two seconds. Next, add a circle in an orange color. Place it exactly in the center of the label.
At frame 10, change the scale to 0. At frame 15, change the scale to 300. For this to work properly, it's important to place the anchor point of the circle in the middle of the circle. At 1 second and 15 frames, set the scale back to 0. Now add deep glow to that circle. Set the exposure to 10 and radius to 2000. This will simulate the explosion. Now, before moving the camera, it's very important to select both layers you've added and set the parent to the world map composition anchor and select 3D layers. Now we can animate the first frame. At the end, click on the keyframe, move to the last frame and do the same. Now you can adjust the shape of the poisonous cloud layer again. And that's it! You now have an animation of the poisonous cloud from Chernobyl. If you liked the video, please click like and subscribe.